Well, let's talk about meteorology, or rather about agro-meteorology. And here we have Professor Michele Pisante from Teramo University. On my right, Professor Simone Orlandini from Florence University. Let me show you a book, a very important book. So this conversation will be opened by Professor Pisante, who will explain this edition. Thank you. The book of agrometeorology is part uh, of uh, a Ned Agricoli collection. This is uh, the book number 20 in uh, 10 years of specialist textbooks uh, for students and uh, for continuing education. In the uh, domestic national landscape, there was uh, no updated text on uh, agrometeorology based on scientific method that explains the most suitable methods and the most advanced technologies to measure the physical parameters. Meteorology in our daily life, especially for agriculture, plays an extremely crucial role in order to make the right decisions and take a rational action. Uh, thank you. Professor Orlandini, what can we find inside this masterpiece uh, of the sector? Is that right? Uh, it's taken a lot of work. Uh, yes, uh, we worked very hard to provide uh, an important tool and fill the existing gaps uh, for uh, experts and students uh, because agrometeorology is a uh, topic uh, taught uh, at in university curricula. We can find the descriptions of variables uh, in the atmosphere, and we can also find uh, a description of the way these variables impact production processes, uh, how can these parameters be measured, uh, and how can all these data be turned into technical advice. Uh, you know, we want to provide practical answers to farmers uh, for them to adapt uh, their productive processes to environmental conditions. Uh, and due to climate change, uh, there's a continuous evolution and change, and it takes a specific knowledge uh, to manage uh, quality uh, uh, based and quantity based productive processes. Professor, what's going on with this climate change? Uh, we see it on a daily basis, uh, our atmosphere gets uh, more and more uh, loaded with um, uh, greenhouse, uh, greenhouse gases uh, with the global warming and extreme events, especially characterizing certain regions uh, with prolonged uh, drought and uh, flooding uh, where with very heavy rainfall, the rain not being absorbed uh, by the, the soil and so useless for crops, uh, but causing considerable damage uh, to agriculture and local population. Professor Pisante, it's taken a lot of work uh, to produce this book. You said something very interesting before we started our conversation. You said the product should be offered at this exhibition stands. Yes, that's right. We are here at EMA International, a showcase for agricultural mechanization and sensors and advanced technologies and the contribution offered by the academic and scientific community is fundamental to make the best use of sensors and data to make uh, decisions. It takes a training and continuing education on irrigation technologies, monitoring environmental parameters. If, that, if a copy of this book was offered to each and every student, that would be an investment on the future because that student would become very aware of the importance of these data and the rational use of certain measures and the importance of water and limited availability of water. 
Professor Orlandini, you mentioned technology. How has it changed? Uh, because we have uh, to know much more than in the past. Uh, also, when it comes to our uh, agrometeorology, the technology is different from some 10 years ago. Is that right? Yes, you're right. Well, on a daily basis, we can see increasingly detailed technology providing an unthinkable amount of data. We need to train people uh, so that they can be available to use uh, and collect uh, these data. Oh, you have environmental uh, data, minute by minute, but what are you going to do with that? Uh, you need to find concrete answers uh, how to use data in, uh, in a useful way, uh, in, uh, looking at sustainability from an economic, social and environmental point of view. These are the goals uh, of modern agriculture. I'd like to thank Professor Pisante on my left and Professor Orlandini on my right. The book of Agrometeorology uh, edit, uh, Ed Agricole publishes. Uh, try and get hold of the book. It could be very useful for your business.